Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Always made my Troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me When I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day When I see your face again But until then God must need another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside He's coming back again, he's coming back again. He went away, not to stay, he's coming back again. He's coming back again, he's coming back again. Glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again, oh, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Not come on, sing with me this morning. Oh, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Singing glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again. Yes, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back again. He's coming back again, he's coming back again, singing glory, hallelujah, he's coming back again, oh, he's coming back again, he's coming back again, he went away, not to say he's coming back again, he's coming back again. He's coming back again, singing glory, hallelujah, he's coming back again. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away in the morning when I die, hallelujah, by and by.
morning when I die. Hallelujah, by and by. Sing it with me. I'll, oh, I'll fly away in the morn. Oh, when I die, hallelujah, by and by. Oh, I fly away. Oh, I'll, oh yes, fly away. Oh, glory. I, I wait in the morning when I die. Hallelujah, by and by. Oh, I fly Thank you, Dr. Our loving members of our dear sister, mother, friend, our sister, Kathleen, and our boys. Eternal God is our refuge, and all the needs are the everlasting arms. We will trust our enemies from before you. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, for he will in me. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes yeah. from the Lord, who be in heaven. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Yes, I walk from the body of the shadow of death. I will turn on him, for God is me. I walk under the star and comfort me. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And so believeth that believeth in me, shall never die. For God is our refuge and our strength. A very pleasant help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear nor the hurt in the bones, and no longer will be carried in the midst of the sea. For the waters grow thereof, and the trouble, for the mountains shake with the sweat of the mouth. I love you tonight, sister. Today, we give honor and praise to the Almighty God for the life. Of our dear sister, Amos Kathleen Richard Wallace. Okay, a woman who has demonstrated the virtuous qualities of a godly woman. Today we are come to celebrate her life. We join with the family, friends, and brethren all over the world to 
just clear that God has been faithful in lending to us a dear sister, mother, and friend. As you remain standing, we will now invite our moderator, Deacon Leonard Robertson, and he will lead us into the opening hymn when we all get to heaven. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. As you heard, we have gathered here for the homegoing and Thanksgiving service of our dear and father sister, Amy's Catherine Richard Wallace. And we give God thanks for today, despite the circumstances. She has lived a life of which we can be proud, and we are here to give thanks and we are going to give thanks in a thankful way. It is said that you don't try to stop people from mourning when they lose a loved one. But we want to all remind us here that when somebody dies in the Lord, we do not mourn as those without a hope. And so this morning I want to, on behalf of the New Testament Church of God family, it is in Manchester Avenue, offer condolences to the bereaved family. I would also like, and we have my own family, to offer condolences. And we are going to celebrate with joy, despite the fact that we are looking at the death of a loved one. Is that possible? Yeah. Okay, God well, give it. Now we're going to be singing for open in him when we all get to heaven. When we all get Thank you. When we all get to heaven. And that's a lively hope that Sister Wallace carried. And that's a lively hope that members of our family have kept alive. And they hope to see her someday. This is not the end of it. Is that an amen? Yes. Okay. Sister. Sing Bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory. When we all get to heaven, 
What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be. the Lord. If you want to keep that um, hope alive in your hearts, let me hear you bless the Lord again. If you are looking forward to that day when you are going to be sitting around this throne with Jesus, our Lord and Savior, let me hear you bless his name. Praise the Lord. What a day of rejoicing. We just want to have a glimpse of Jesus then, you know. And all the cares of this life will disappear. We won't even think about anything named sorrow. So let us look forward to that day. At this point, I'll be asking um, Minister Ralph Newell to come with the opening prayer, following which our first lesson, Psalm 91 to 12, will be read by Azande Allison. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. We are here this morning not because of our own doing, but because, because God wants us to be here. So let us now bow our heads since in this prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you because you made us in your own image and gave us gifts in body, mind, and spirit. We thank you for your beloved sister who has just departed into another world and what she has mean to us each as we honor it, her name in memory make us more aware that you are one from whom comes every gift perfect including the gifts of eternal life to Jesus Christ. We pray for incident-free service in the name of Jesus. God of mercy, as we mourn the death of our dear departed, we thank you for her life Remember the times when it was hard for us to understand. Forgive us. Heal our memories of hurt and failure and bring us to forgiveness and life. In Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus, we pray and we give thanks always because it's everything we give thanks. Amen. Praise God. Could you just give God a hand clap of praise, everybody? Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. My, my brothers and sisters, at this time, I'm going to invite Azande Allison, grandnephew, 
yes, who will be coming to read Psalm 91 to 12. Could I invite the church to stand at this time? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Lord, Lord, thou has been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hasn't formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou so turnest man to destruction, this and say to return, ye children of men. For a thousand years, thousand years in thy sight are but yesterday when when it is past, and as watch in the night. Thou carry them away with, a, with as with a flood. They are as sleep in the morning, are like grass which grows up. In the, mor yeah. in the morning, in the morning, it flourishes and grows it up. In the evening, it cuts down and withers it. For we are consumed by sin anger and by thy wrath art we troubled. Thou, thou hasn't set in our iniquities before thee our secret sins in the light of thy conscience. For all of our days are passed away in thy wrath. We, we spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are six scores, six scores years and ten. And if by reason of strength, they buy four scores years. Yet in their strength, labor and sorrow, for it soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of sin of sign anger, even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Finish. Yes, we honor the words of God by saying, Thanks be to God. You may be seated. I just want to give thanks to Minister Ralph Newell and Azande for performing their roles in the, the able way that they have done it. Now we continue our program. We have four tributes here. And we'll take them in the order that we have them here. The first one will be done by Isabel Blegrove. And we have of the seven, um, sorry, Senior Citizens Group. The second one is by Karen McKenzie, niece. Third, Minister Ralph Newell, nephew-in-law. Uh, we have one by the person that here yet, so we'll just hold on to that. And then, We'll have the second scripture lesson, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 13, and that will be read by Phyllis Jackson, niece. But we'll come in the order for the tributes. Is that an amen? amen? But before you start giving the tribute, I don't like how we sit down, you know. We are church of God and sister. Wallace. Never like this sort of thing. So we're going to sing. Anybody know our favorite chorus? What is it? Huh? All right, you don't know it. We're going to sing. I'm a glad pilgrim on my way, going to glory land. Jesus, my only hope and stay.
Christ, not if it's night nor day, nothing can lead me wrong. Feeling I'm on a road of a deed and love, knowing I have a house in Trusting God, giving Him all the praise, leading me from the paths I trod. have a faithful God. He promised never to leave us alone. And the song is saying, my Redeemer will lead me safely through. We trust God to have led our sister safely through up until death. And let us trust him to do the same for us because he indeed is faithful. And now we'll have our tributes. Life is like a mountain
she is in paradise and joy. Life beyond that. Hallelujah. This song is for me. I just want to sing a song for her and the singers have me to represent them to do the first song. So this is for me. Reads. I am Karen McKenzie, known to most people as Kay, Avis Richard Wallace, 
whose life we are celebrating at this moment was my aunt, the aunt I was most attached to. I met Aunt Hazel when I was four years old when she returned from England to visit her mother. I considered myself fortunate to be living in my parents' home as this gave me the privilege to spend the six weeks that I stayed close to her. She always reminisced on the day that as children, my siblings and I picked up mangoes from under the mango trees. I chose to give her the best one that I found, even though I would have wanted to eat it. I gave it to her because she was kind, soft in voice when talking to us and ensured to and, and endured to tell the truth. I can't remember that episode, but she remembered and said that I gave her the mangoes to her and cried. The mango situation was drew, drew her, is what drew her, drew her attention to me and she remained a very close aunt to me onwards till her demise. It was a very kind relationship that existed between us. I visited her regular with all the products I could, I could find on her property. I also ensured that she got her beef and pork for Christmas, not to mention the pig head, which she corned and kept in a bucket to cook her gungu soup. My sister recounted her letters that she sent from England. Those letters had pocket money for all of the children in the yard. So at Christmas time, all of the children would have money to buy the fee-fee and the other little goodies. Her sister, who is my mother, recounts the money, the many letters with, with money from her, also, also the Christmas portion with clothes for everyone, especially her children. Not to mention the tight big heel shoes that I got. I was with her to the best moment and she has left me with fond memories and I can only hope that a remembrance and that remembrance and that will we that will meet again to continue our beautiful relationship. That is the end of it. Amen. This tribute is in the form of a song as well. I had known Sister Richard Wallace for many, many years. However, we are at times in London, here. She's a wonderful woman. She always loved her church. My brother, my sister, we never can tell when the Lord thy God come to take us. That is the reason why we have to always be prepared because we know not when he will call to steal us away. And as this song sing, steal away. Hallelujah. Steal away. Steal away.
my Lord, when he calls me, he calls me by the thunder. The trumpet sounds within my soul. I Trembling the trumpet sound within my soul. I got long to stay. people who have given you a tribute thus far. Um, Isabel, Karen, and Minister Ralph Newell. At this point, we'll have someone from the Mount Clear Citizens Association coming to do a tribute, following which we'll have Sister D. Tamlin, also from that community, to give a tribute. And then we'll go on to the second lesson. Okay, in that order, please. Where is the person coming to do the um, tribute on behalf of the community, the Citizens Association? This funeral is just too quiet for me. Sister Richie was a church warrior, you know. It's just in the last few days when, you know, our health got a little. So, come on. I'm going to ask you to stand before I sing. Please. We have enough time in our hand. Sign me up. Sign me up. For the Christian Jubilee. Write my name. Write my name. Mighty 
God. Hallelujah. You may be seated now. I'm going to do a song. Come on. I was very happy when I saw the two young men came up to read the scripture. I don't know if you're Christians and I don't, I don't want to hang that. But my point today, my brothers and my sisters, every time we come to a funeral and look at the casket, we need to do an introspection, look inside and see if you or I were the person lying there, if we would be ready to meet our maker. A funeral should actually drive us into consciousness of our our mortality and our destiny. Thank you for that word. All right. The, the song I'm going to sing is, um, there is a line, there's a war going on for our soul. The devil on one side and Jesus on the other side. And my brothers and my sisters, please let us stay on Jesus' side. Mm -hmm. There's a line. Lift a little bit for me, baby. G or F or something. Mm -hmm. There's a line that has been drawn through the ages. And on that line stands the old rugged cross. And on the cross a battle is raging for the gain of man's soul or its loss. On one side stands the forces of evil, all the demons and the devil of hell. But on the other side, the angels of glory, and they all met at God. shakes with the force of the conflict and the sun refuses to shine for the hand God's son in the balance but then he cried, it is finished, oh glory, the battle is over, it is finished, and there will be no more war, it is finished, the end of my conflict it is a finish and Jesus is the Lord still in my heart a battle is raging for not all the prisoners of war have come home but guess what? These were just battlefields of my own making. For I didn't know that the war had been won. But then I heard that the king of all angels had fallen. Now, prime 
finish and there will be no more war. The battle is over. It is a finish, and there will be no more war. It is finished. The end of my conflict. It is a finish. Sister Avis Wallace, Richard Wallace, from the Mount Clare Citizens Association. We cannot lower thy purple sea, but all is well is done by thee. Mrs. Avis Wallace was a member of the Mount Clare Citizens Association for many years. She loved the neighborhood and never stopped inquiring about it. She sang on the choir and was also never absent or late. She became assistant secretary and this she did very well. Her husband was always with her. They made a great couple. She served the neighborhood well and wanted it to grow from strength to strength. She would distribute ice cream cake and gifts and sang and worship with the neighborhood the neighborhood was happy to have such a faithful and dedicated servant of god they loved her well but jesus loved her best yes. may she rest in heavenly peace and light perpetually shine on her Pleasant afternoon to you all. Our second lesson comes to us from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, reading from verses 1 to 13, and it begins. To, every, to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time, to be, a time to born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit as a worker from that in which he labors? I have seen the God-given task with which the sons of men are to be occupied. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts, 
except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to end. I know that nothing is better for them than to rejoice and to do good in their lives. And also that every man should eat and treat and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. The word of the Lord. You know, Auntie, this is my aunt. And I am so happy this afternoon to tell her that if I, if I have gone to visit her in the hospital, I would be so embarrassed with myself today. I have seen her the night before she died, and I'm so happy for that. You know, she's a, she has lived a well-deserved life. And an exam, and she was a pleasant and gentle, she had a pleasant and gentle personality. May us her soul rest in peace. Praise the Lord. If you are still happy to know that the Lord God Almighty is your God, let me hear you call the name Jesus. Let me hear you call the name Jesus. Indeed, he is wonderful. And I just want to thank all you persons who have contributed thus far. Um, Kadeen from this Business Association, Mr. Duffy Tomlin, who sang. And um, this is Jackson, who just read the list. You know, we just moved into a new year. And I heard a lot of talks, you must have heard it too, about crossing over. A lot of people talk about how they have crossed over. And I, 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 I reflected on what was being said, you know, and I said, look, we cross over from one year to the next. And we cross over with the crime rate still going. We cross over with the scamming, everything that is bad, we cross over with it. So there's hardly anything to celebrate about apart from the fact that God has been good to us. He has spared our lives. But well, here we have one of our sisters who has crossed over from one life to another. And the good thing about it, which I want the family members to understand, is that when she has crossed, crossed over that bridge between this life and the next, she leaves everything that oppressed her on this side behind. And I just want all of us to help to remind them and to console them with this chorus. Across the bridge, there will be no more sorrow. She isn't going to take any sorrow with her. She hasn't taken any with her. And she won't have anything to bother her. So let us console the family by standing together and singing to the honor and glory of God. Across the bridge, there will be no more sorrow. The family members will sit and we sing for them. Please stop. What is that? What is that? one more time. He is worthy to be praised and we give him all the honor, the glory and the praise. You may be seated. Thanks be to God.
you know, I have to make myself clear so I, I don't get sued. I don't have any money. When our pastor called for the moderator, he gave one name. But a Robert and I came. I, my name is Milton Wright, and there's a thing they call identity theft. I don't want to be charged for that. Now, the real Leonard Roberts, who is coming now, is my co host. He'll be coming to take you through to the end of the program. God bless you. Praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God. Good, mo good morning, my brothers and sisters. I greet you all in the most powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Scripture reminds us in Psalms 92 that it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto his name, O Most High. To show forth his loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Amen, somebody. He is worthy of all glory and praise. Scripture reminds us also that precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saint. There is a great sense of joy that Sister Avis Wallace finished her race and is now in the presence of the Lord, whom she served faithfully for so many years. At the same time, we feel a sense of lust and sadness that a faithful servant of the faith and of the cross should be taken from us. Rest in peace, Sister Wallace. I also would like to express sincere condolence to members of the bereaved family and friends. And during your times of bereavement, we all know that we serve a God who knows what to do and how to do it in these challenging times. So therefore, my brothers and sisters, I'm asking you all to remain focused on our great comforter. Amen, somebody? Amen. Praise God, love God, bless God. At this time, as we continue with this serve with the program, we are now going to have the offertory hymn. We are marching to Zion, and at this time, I'm going to ask Sister Bell, Sister Isabel, to lead out in this singing. How we. Thank you. 
praise God. Bless his holy name. He's worthy of all praises. Will you all bow your heads with me while I give thanks to God for the offering which I've collected. Loving, caring, and merciful Father, Father of love, grace, mercy, and compassion, the author and finisher of our faith, Hosanna in the eyes, oh how we love you, oh how we bless your holy name. Great Father, we give you praises that you are our great provider. You provide for us in all years of our life. And so mighty God, I ask us now that you bless the offering which was just collected. And I pray, mighty God, that you will continue to allow us to have an offering to give at all times when we in enter into your courts, courts, as your words remind us, that when we come, we should always bring an offering. So, dear Father, I ask that you bless and sanctify now in Jesus' name I pray. And we all say, Amen. praise God, bless God, love God. At this time, we will be having the remembrance, and that will be done by Brother L. Learman, followed by a special items, which will be done by the Women's Ministry Choir. And immediately after the choir, has rendered your item. I'm going to ask you all to stand and receive the man of God, our host bishop, James Roy Simon, as he comes to deliver the, ser the sermon. Please follow in that order. He gave his life for you and for me. Jesus, a sweet Nazarene. I know that someday in glory, his face I shall see. Jesus, a sweet. Come on, man, sing with me. Sing, man. Yes, sing. He gave his life for you and for me. sound a little better, I feel a little better, but there was a little heaviness that I didn't like. So I tried to lift you out of that heaviness so that you can enjoy the service. You know the devil was trying everything for me not to be here this morning. Because just as I was ready to drive out and I pressed the remote for my gate, it wouldn't work me. And then what? Rain started to fall. So I got wet. So when I came here this morning, I had to go to my pastor and say to him, Pastor, please excuse me for wearing my shirt outside of my pants. God, that's not normally me. And he said to me, don't worry about that, man. You are okay. So that's why my shirt is out of my pants. All right? That's all right of shading ministers. My Bishop James Small, Associate Pastor, Ms. Reverend C. Wright, Bishop 
Grant Bishop Ralston Graham. I almost say, I'm trying to remember the name now. The gentleman who preached at the crusade sat no Sunday night and Monday night. Arthur Grant, I almost say Reverend Arthur Grant. But I love that preacher. Pastor, I love that preacher. Yes, very good. Moderators, my good friends, glad to have you. Bereaved family, I give you my sincere condolences on behalf of my wife. She's not well, and that's why she's not here with me this morning. She went by the doctor yesterday, and uh, her sugar level was three times higher than the normal. So she couldn't be here this morning. Doctor had to put her on insulin in order to prevent her from being admitted to the hospital today. God is really good. We worked on her, and uh, when we checked it this morning, it gone down to 24.4, which was down from 30 yesterday. So God is good. But today, I'm here to do the remembrance of one of our seniors, Richard Richards Wallace. She's she not leaving out that Richards. She's always saying Avis Richards Wallace. So this morning I'm doing the, rem the remembrance on behalf of that wonderful lady. All that live must die, passing through life to eternity. Sister Avis Richards Wallace was one of the early members of the Seniors Club, now Seniors Ministry. It is with deep regret and sadness that I stand here to reflect on the life of one of our early members of the Seniors Ministry. Sister Avis Wallace was not just an ordinary member, but was caring and kind always willing to give contributions, cash or kind, to whatever event the Senate Ministry is engaged. She was the first to pledge her contribution towards our quarterly birthday celebrations. Her regular contribution was donating that gallon of ice cream. Every time we are having the quarterly birthday celebrations. This gallon of ice cream from Brother Richard, Brother Wallace and Sister Wallace. At our regular monthly meetings, which is the third Thursday in each month, Sister Wallace was always willing to tune in a prayer chorus for the beginning of our devotion. Reach out and touch the Lord as he passes by. You will not be to hear your heart's cry. He's passing by this moment. Your needs will supply. Reach out. And touch the Lord as he passes by. That's one of our favorite prayer chorus. On the Cena platform, she was a songbird with, with those old time hymns. So I was glad when I saw this one on the program, Steal Away. 
steal away that the gentleman sang earlier. That was one of her favorite old time hymns. It's no wonder she was a member of the ladies ministry choir. Sister Wallace was among the first to make her down payment for the seniors' excursions. Cook out or whatever function is being hosted by the club. Always willing to share produce from our yard, especially guineps or mangoes. <laughs> yes. Personally, had to go and to get those sweet guineps because she would call me personally and say, Brother Lehman, it's time to come for the guineps before them start to spoil. So even the last crop, I think it was in August, I had to go by the house to make sure I got my Guinness and Brother Wallace and Sister Wallace was around the back picking Guinness for me. I have never seen Sister Wallace without her husband, Brother Wallace. Always together. At the supermarket, I see them. In the shopping mall, I see them. And at church, they are here together. I am certain Brother Wallace is now feeling like a fish out of water without her late wife, Sister Wallace, beside him. My brothers and sisters, she will be remembered for that warm, pleasant, and kind personalities she displayed as a member of the Seniors Club. Rest in peace, Sister Wallace. We will cherish those wonderful memories. And so we are comforted though, knowing that you are no longer in pain but gone home to be with your maker. Rest well, Avis. We will meet you in the morning. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Soon the dark clouds will roll away and for us dawn a brighter day. We shall have glory after a while. All of our cares will lay aside with the Redeemer to abide. We shall have glory after a while. Must be faithful there below till the shall bid us rise and go. We shall have glory after a while. Oh, it be joy when we shall meet when the glad circle is complete. We shall have glory after a while.
we shall have glory after a while. We shall have glory when we reach heaven. We shall have glory after a while. Sorrow and death will come no more. All will be joy upon the shore. We shall have glory after a while. We shall have glory when we reach heaven. We shall have glory after a while. Sorrow and death will come no more. All will be joy upon the shore. We shall have glory after.
to let you know she has gone up before us. She has run early up the race on this side. Now she's gone into eternity where she has experienced the bliss and the joy of the Lord. At this time, I would like to leave a short word on your hearts. I promise that when it is a funeral service, I will not preach long. But sometimes the anointing takes you otherwise. But today, I will be faithful to that promise. If I help of the Lord. I'm grateful for Bishop and Lady Brian, Reverend um, Dr. Seabright, Reverend Isaiah Mighty, and Sister Mighty in the audience, and the moderators, and all the, the members and leaders of the church who have made it possible on a this thing, for instance, many of our members and others will be probably at work and other fights behind it. We are grateful for those who have made it possible to come. Thank you. God bless you. The word of the Lord comes to us today out of the book of the Psalm. And in Psalm 116, I find a verse of scripture that Really, if it's alive, the life and worth of this dear woman of God. In Psalm 116, verse 15, the word of God said, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. The New International Version puts it like this. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Faithful servant. The New Living Translation says, The Lord cares deeply when his loved ones die. I want to suggest today that one of the saints of God is now considered precious. Precious. What a way to describe death, precious. I want to suggest to you that her life is precious because of the influence she has made on our lives. That's why the death of the saint is precious, because of the, the great influence. But also, her life is precious because when a Christian dies, she's now released from pain and sorrow and suffering. And thirdly, her life is precious because she has now made that transition into the presence of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, as I look and reflect on this word, I ask myself the question, what is precious about it? Oh, in the Revelation chapter 14, 13, we are told, blessed are the dead. What is blessed and precious about death? But here I find that this horrible monster that, that separates us, that brings that level of grief on pain when we lose a loved one. The Bible said, in God's sight, when a saint dies, when a believer dies, when someone who has walked with the Lord, when they die, oh hallelujah, it is precious. And I want to look at that in contrast to what I call the death of the unbeliever, the death of the, those who are, are unfaithful or unrighteous or those who have not served the Lord. I come to just let you know three things that is significant, that is precious. Oh, glory to God, about Sister Ades. Oh, glory to God. She was precious. And her death is considered precious because, oh, glory to God, it re uh, re we reflect on the influence that she has made on our life. God has led her to us. For over 90 years. What a life. You know, when I looked at that, one of the things I do is to check on the on the what you call the lifespan, the dash. 
And when I looked at it, I said, wow, this is a great dash. She had outlived what the scripture says, which is three, four, and ten. And by reading of strength, we may go to four score. But she has gone to four score and ten. My God, this is significant. Somebody praise God. Oh, somebody lift your hand and shout a praise to God. She has lived a life in the West. Now, I only met her for over three years, and what impact she was as a, a senior in the church services, senior in the seniors program. She, her, oh, uh, as I said, I've never seen Brother Wally, and I've seen Sister Wally. I've just come to tell us that she was impactful. But why was she impactful? She was impactful because she the Lord. She was impactful because she had a relationship with Jesus. She was impactful because the word of God that we should let our light so shine before men that they will see our good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Oh, somebody pray God. She was uh, with the life of influence, and that's why she comes to the precious. Uh, but God sees it fit and says, uh, Sister Davis, you have done well. You have run your way well. And so now I want you to know you are precious because I need to release you from the pain and the suffering of this life. Uh, oh, glory to God. The Apostle Paul, when he knew that his time was coming, his time of departure, when he knew that he was about to face the gallows, when he knew that his head was about to be cut off because of the gospel, he said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the pain. He said, henceforth, there is pain up for me, a crown of righteousness, which is the righteous judge shall It's gone to a place where there is no more sickness, no more diabetes, no more high blood pressure, no more, somebody said no more, there is no more crime, no more tears, no more death, but a form of things. I 
celebrate. That's the tension. We grieve. We have lost a giant woman of the day. But we celebrate for she's better than we are. She's in a better place. But I want to say to my unsaved friends, if you have not surrendered to the Lordship of Jesus, if you have not asked him into your life and make him Lord and King of your life, if you are not making, uh, oh hallelujah, the one who guided you from day to day. I want you to know when the unbeliever dies, it's not the same thing. The Bible doesn't call the unbeliever a confession. In Psalm 1, the, the Bible explains to us uh, that, uh, yes, the ungodly are not so. Oh yes, the, the unrighteous are not so. The, the ungodly, when they perish, they are not like the righteous. They are not like us. They are not so. Oh God, because whatever they sow, they are going to reap. If you did not sin, you're going to reap a life of, of, of sorrow and pain. To the Bible says, the ungodly are not so. But they are like the sharp with the wind straight away.
Just before I take my seat, if you are not a believer, if you are not yet surrendered to the Lordship of Jesus, could you just raise your hand? You are not ashamed to say, I am not a believer. I am not saved. I see that hand. I see those hands. I see those hands. Right where you are, right where you are, could I just lead you into a prayer? This is how it happens. It begins by faith. By grace, through the love of God, we are saved through faith, which is to trust Him and Him alone for our salvation. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you. I admit I am a sinner. I have done wrong things. But today, I confess you as my Lord, the only Lord and Savior. I invite you into my heart. Please forgive me. Save me. Heal me. Deliver me. In Jesus' name. Amen. You pray that prayer. Just lift your hand, everybody. Just lift your hand and say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for saving my soul. That's how it all begins. By grace, I am saved. Tell somebody that you have asked into your life. If you don't have a place to worship, we invite you to come back and worship with us. We meet every Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. Over the past week, we have been out of this facility, but we are doing a crusade at West Park Community Center. So if you are coming to see us this Sunday morning, that's where we're going to be at the West Park Community Center on the blue, white, and red tent. That's where we are going to be for the next two weeks. We invite you to come and worship with us. God bless you. It's my prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to his name. Will the congregation join with me? And let us give Almighty God some praises in his house. For the way that he has used his man's servant to bring forth his word to us this afternoon with power and with clarity and thus said the Lord. Join with me please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is great and greatly to be praised. One generation shall praise his words, and to another declare his mighty acts. And so this afternoon we give God thanks and praises for the mighty acts that he has been doing for us and through us. Somebody say amen with me. Bless his holy name. As we continue with the program, we are now going to do the eulogy, which will be done by Eustace, Eustace Richard's son, followed by the prayer for the bereaved family, the Reverend Dante Sivright. Please come in that order. Bishop, ministers, thank you very much. Friends, family, and everybody who's here today, I want to talk about my mother. My name is Eustace Richards. I stand before you as a sorrowful soul lost in the throes of grief, but rather as a son blessed with the privilege of having known, appreciated, and loved an extraordinary woman. A woman whose presence graced my life for a blessed lifetime my beloved mum, Avis Kathleen Richard Wallace. To most, my mother was simply known as Mrs. Richards or Mrs. Richards Wallace, but to my three siblings and I, she was mother. She was born on the 25th of April, 1933, to Herman and Florence Lloyd in the district of Belmont, Crawl in Mokong. She was the seventh of, 17, of 13 children, sorry, so she enjoyed the companionship of both her older and younger siblings. She attended the Moko Elementary School where she learned the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic, which obviously were useful tools since she really, more than anything else, liked to read and write 
and was proud of her penmanship throughout her life. As a child, her parents ensured that she attended church. And so, as the pastor said, as the bishop said, she was brought up to fear God from an early age. Now, no one is just one thing, and my mother was no different. She was a wife, a provider, a protector, and a disciplinarian. But to me, she was not only my mother, but my first and best friend, and this continued until her passing. Yes, I'm a mummy's boy, and I'm not ashamed to say that. But as I grew up, I began to understand more of who my mother was. She was a devout Christian, and nothing came before the church. Mummy loved to cook, and so as kids, there was never a problem when we were called to come to eat. My mother was an avid learner with many varied interests. She could talk for hours about church and about her experiences in England. She was, but you know, still she was more than that. My father was born in Eden Moko in 1930. And when he was an adult, he got an opportunity to leave Jamaica and arrived in England in 1955. He sent for my mother sometime afterwards and they got married. Now the rest of it I don't, uh, I don't know because unfortunately I wasn't born yet. But during the 50s and 60s, they had to put up with all the sorts of stuff during in England because those were tumultuous years. But they preserved, persevered, and created a family. Mummy, Daddy had four children. Jean, who's sitting right here, my brother Roger, me, and my younger sister Tina. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy made sure we knew our family and its history. So much so, so much so that I wanted to know more about it. I had my DNA analysis done to see not only where in Africa we came from, but what tribe, and have a clear sense of our identity. We lived in South London, in an area called Clapham, and spent many years growing up until Daddy and Mummy said they had enough. They're going back to Jamaica. And that's what they did. And for many years, until my father passed away on the 3rd of August 1998, at the age of 68, that's what they did. Now, mummy decided to get married again. I gave her away. Yeah. And the reason why she did that is because she says that my marriage to your father was so good that she was not scared to try again. Because she needed the companionship, and we all do at some stage in our lives. Mummy first met Mr. Wallace, who's sitting here, through an introduction, and then after a period of time, they got married at the Versailles, Hotel in Maypen on November 22nd, 2003. For 20 years, Mr. Wallace and my mother enjoyed trips together, senior citizens, all the things that couples do, and love going to church to worship together. Now, my mother was so many things to many people. I can't presume to list them all, but to the sum of all her parts are in some way reflected in this room. Wife, friend, classmate, mentor, sister, cousin, auntie, grandma, and great-grandma. Over the past days since I've arrived here, some of you have shared your memories with me. And, you know, the recurring theme really in this is that her heart, her big, kind, and ever-given heart, and that is the essence of my mother, Avis Kathleen Richards, a loyal and generous heart. Now, her mortal heart may beat no more, but the spirit of her heart will not yield. It will beat on in our memories and our stories, and as they are shared, you'll be sharing her spirit. I, for my fault and for who I am, have lost my best friend and will miss you, mummy. in any trouble with the comfort we receive ourselves from God. My brothers and sisters, indeed, this is a time when especially the family members need comfort. And as a church family, we are acutely aware that our God is a God of comfort. Do I hear an amen, somebody? 
praise God. My brothers and sisters, at this time, I'm going to invite the family members to remain seated and everybody else to stand as we bear the family members up in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. My brothers and sisters, we pray now for the family members as they go through this time of bereavement. And we believe God for his comfort and nearness to them. Could we pray for God? Father, sovereign God and ruler, King of kings and Lord of lords, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the great I am that I am. Father, we solicit your throne this morning. We thank you, God, that you are the God of all comfort. We thank you, Father, that you reign supreme. You are Elohim. You are God above every other gods. Father, we thank you for the life of only your sister. God, we bring before you this morning the family members who may be grieving at this time. Spirit of God, will you go near to them? And I ask in the name of Jesus that you will come close because you know that you are the Holy Spirit who was sent as another comforter. Father, do what counseling cannot do. Father, do what therapy cannot do. Spirit of God, do what medicine sometimes cannot do. And go, Almighty God, and bring calm to them as they go to their son. We thank you, Father, that you remain a comforter. And Church of God, sing with me. Amen and amen. Moderator, in Jesus' name. We have now come to the end of our service. And I just would like to say a big thank you to all those who have performed their respective tasks so very well and also for your undivided attention. You are appreciated for your good behavior. God be the glory. Our pastor will be coming back to give us information as how we proceed towards the cemetery. My brothers and sisters, at this time we are at the recessional hip. We'll be doing in the sweet by and by as is on your program. You have been an orderly and wonderful set, and we will maintain that for the recession. And we will be doing in the sweet by and by when we reach the second stanza, where it says we shall sing on that beautiful shore. The members of the clergy will be heading on down and the, the choir will follow behind us, family members, and then everyone else will disperse accordingly. I'm going to invite Bishop just before they sing to give us the instruction as it relates to the cemetery in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Reverend Seabright. And so, as he has said, we are going to have the platform, including the choir, to lead the way, and the casket with the board bearers immediately behind the choir. Then the family members coming behind the casket and the rest of the congregation. That's how we will do it. I'm going to ask that we, as we go out, we will await the um, undertakers to be um, in place as uh, I will be leading the procession and the casket behind and then family and all those who will come along as we journey into, into Moko to do the, um, the burial. So we ask for your support and uh, your cooperation with the family. They would love to see you coming just to give them the final support. Really, I appreciate that and thank you so much. Can we stand at this time for the recession? I the first you lead us into the song. Um, and by faith we shall see the farm. I For the path awaits over the way. For the path is over. To prepare us at the end this year.
and sit a while with me.